from the outset here to acknowledge uh, the chair, Kyle Carlson, and um, the, the vice chair, Rachel Judish, for taking the reins of this group and providing the leadership that uh, made the report that we're releasing today possible. Uh, the people you see here with me uh, today are, in my opinion, the future leaders of our state. And the work that uh, you see uh, before you is the groundwork for a more welcoming Iowa. And uh, who knows, uh, I feel like one of these people standing up here with me very possibly uh, will be uh, one day the governor, the lieutenant governor of the state. Um, I also want to take a moment to acknowledge the seven legislature, legislators, particularly uh, Alicia Gaiman. Is Alicia here? No? For her work and their work last session to make the commission a reality. Uh, it will be one year tomorrow that Governor Culver and I were sworn in as Governor and Lieutenant Governor of the State of Iowa. Uh, when they reminded me of that, I thought, my gosh, that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't seem possible. But uh, a year ago when we took office, we had a goal in mind, and that was to move Iowa forward. Uh, we know that in order for that to happen, we have to have a good economy in our state. And thankfully, uh, here in Iowa, we are blessed with a strong economy and an economy that is growing stronger every day. But continuing that trend into the future is easier to say than to do. And we do face challenges that require us to come up with new solutions. Um, as my generation prepares to retire, and no, I'm not, uh, <laughs> don't get too eager. <laughs> not gonna happen today or tomorrow. <laughs> But, uh, but the fact is, as the baby boomers get ready to retire, they're going to leave hundreds of thousands of high-paying, high quality jobs open. And unfortunately, as we project out, we do not have the workers to fill those jobs. It is projected that four years from now, we will have 150,000 more career opportunities than workers to fill them. Uh, this workforce shortage poses a threat to the future, and we need young Iowans to help us fill those gaps. Now, the young people are already here. That's the good news. Uh, as the report will tell you, Iowa is an importer of college students. With more than 12,000 students coming to the state each year for college, and only 4,000 Iowa students leaving to attend college in other states. So we actually have a brain gain of 8,000 people every year, and it is our challenge to figure out how to keep them here. And that is why the legislature, with the governor's support, has created the Generation Iowa Commission. We have asked this group uh, to help us develop proposals that will make Iowa more attractive to young professionals, uh, recruit and retain the best and the brightest workers and meet the economic challenges we face. And I'm very proud to say that they have uh, attacked those issues and they have compiled a very uh, complete report. The governor and I will now review that in depth and see what steps we can take to make Iowa more inviting. So I want to take a moment to commend the Generation Iowa Commission for their hard work over the last year. They did a, mom, a really monumental uh, job with a very difficult task and put together a very complete uh, and, and thoughtful report in less than six months, which in government time is almost miraculous. <laughs> um, but commissioners, I, I hate to say that something you find me to say to you, but you need to know that compiling this report is just the beginning. Uh, the hard work now begins. Uh, we are counting on you, the governor and I both are counting on you to continue to represent your generation and to serve as advocates for all uh, the young professionals uh, across the state. We both look forward to working with you to assure that uh, state government continues to work for all Iowans, both young and old. The future of the state 
rests on the shoulders of the next generation of Iowans, and together with the legislature, community leaders, and Iowa businesses, I am confident that we are going to uh, bring more young people here and keep them here. And now I want to introduce the commission chair, Kyle Carlson, who's going to share with you in uh, some more detail some of the uh, of the report. Kyle? Well, first off, um, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. Uh, it's great to see such a good turnout. Um, this is a big day for all of us, though, as Lieutenant Governor Judge said, uh, this is definitely just the beginning. We have a lot more work to do. Um, we put this report together. If you don't have copies, they're over and in the corner. Um, we put this together in just about four months. Um, so there's a lot more research, a lot more work still to be done, but this is an excellent start. Um, so first of all, I'd like to thank all the people behind me, the other 14 commissioners, our ex officio members, um, Sean and Elena from the Department of Economic Development and their staff, who sort of helped uh, guide us along the process as we sort of have been doing the work and learning how to do this uh, state commission stuff a little bit on the fly. Um, but it's been terrific and I, I hope everyone has had uh, just as uh, great of an experience doing this so far as I have had. Um, I would also like to thank the governor and lieutenant governor um, for signing, creating this commission and allowing us to do this, uh, this very important work. And also to uh, a thank you to all the young people of the state of Iowa. This, as I recall, something like 280 um, people from around the state applied to be on this commission and they've continued to be involved and continue to send their, uh, their thoughts and their responses to, the webs to our website. They've emailed us, they've talked to us, um, and that information has been incredibly helpful as we put this together. Um, as many of you know, this commission was created um, this past year with the goal of trying to reverse some of the trends of the brain drain that we have seen for many, many years in this state. Um, four legislators in particular, uh, Representative Andrew Wenthe, Representative McKinley Bailey, Representative Alicia Gaiman, um, and uh, Representative Tyler Olson, all kind of were instrumental in getting this started and allowing us to do this work. Um, so a big thank you goes out to them as well. As far as the report is concerned, um, there are a few major things that you'll see in there that uh, um, really been the guiding principles as we work toward coming up with recommendations. As Lieutenant Governor Judd said, um, this state actually does have a brain gain when it comes to college students. We're in the top five or six in terms of states that import, college, uh, import high school graduates to come to college here. So we definitely have a pool of students that we can work with. The problem is, um, is that we see them leave upon graduation or upon college graduation um, and we're nearly as high in the nation in that number as well. So um, that's really been the key focus for us um, to try to figure out how to reverse that trend so that we're not really just a revolving door of, of bachelor's degrees leaving the state. Um, as Lieutenant Governor Judge also said, this is a really key element in terms of our uh, looming worker shortage. Um, we're expected to have something like 150,000 um, jobs that we can't fill by 2012, and one of the key ways that we can really help alleviate that is to make sure we have a young, skilled, highly educated workforce here to take some of those jobs. Um, that's a real important point for moving our economy forward. That's, I think, the reason most of us were really excited to get involved in this process, um, and so, uh, there's really, um, this is really something that we need to kind of get a, get a move on fast because we don't have a lot of time before this could really be a very large potential problem. Um, Iowa does have many strengths that we can build upon with this effort. Uh, through our research, we've identified many things um, that many of you already know. Iowa is a great place to raise a family, start a family. Um, we, uh, we do have a significant amount of great things to do through the Department of Economic Development. Um, and some of the, pro the state programs that we've used to build things like Kings Point and Storm Lake, which we got to see along the way. Um, those things are out there and that's terrific. Um, we are primarily a healthy and safe place to be. We're a leader in education. Um, and we rank one of, uh, we're one of the highest states in terms of home ownership. So we have a lot going for us that we can build on, um, but we do obviously have challenges. Um, as you'll see in the report, um, the largest challenge that we see as a commission is that this state really lags in wages for young professionals and we are burdened by high student loan debt. Um, we have heard through uh, many of the people that have contacted us about sort of their decision-making process and where they were when they were in college and as college students and faced with that decision to leave. That's been overwhelmingly the number one response is they want a high-paying job in, uh, in a career in their field. So 